Hey guys, it's your friend and realtor, Travi Houses. I've received numerous messages and questions pertaining to this topic, so I wanted to address it. So today we're gonna to talk about the difference between condos and co-ops. I honestly feel like a lot of people don't know the difference, so I wanted to jump on, create this video, and hopefully clear up any confusion. The difference between a condo and a co-op is that a co-op is not considered real property, and a condo is. A co-op is not real property. It's kind of like a shareholder in a corporation. There is one tax for the whole building, and it's divided up by all the units, and that is the reason why the HOA fees are so high. That fee includes your taxes, all utilities except electric, so it includes heat, gas, and water, and also includes your maintenance fee. Since your heat and gas is included, it's because your furnace is shared. So if your furnace were to break, or I don't know, um, let's say there was uh, a leak in the wall, well, that would be covered and paid for under your HOA fee. A co-op is more desirable in price, I would say, yet carries a much steeper HOA fee. It is a very complex process to get into a co-op. Trust me, my, my first deal was one, so I have experience with this. So there is a board approval, there is a non-refundable fee of $400, and you have to fill out a f this freaking ginormous application package. And then that is reviewed by two different parties, and then you must go in front of the board, which conveniently only meets once, once a month, and then they can either approve or deny you. And if they deny you, they do not have to provide a reason why. The board is very strict on both credit and debt to income ratio. They wanna make sure that you're able to pay the HOA fee. They wanna see that you have at least six months worth of that payment in your bank account. So just in case you lose your job, you're still able to pay the HOA fee. Remember, the man always gets paid. So even if you pay for a co-op in cash, which was the case with the deal that I negotiated, um, they still wanna make sure that you have the money to pay that HOA fee. You have to provide them how much money you make, uh, your employment, your car payment, etc. All those variables. A condo, on the other hand, has no board approval and that's why people love condos because it's easy. You just submit an offer, negotiate with the seller, and then done deal, easy peasy. With both a co-op and a condo, you have to do a conventional loan. There are not many FHA approved condos, they're rare. The lease you can put down with a conventional loan is 5%. Some co-ops, get this, have a minimum requirement of 10 or 20% down. Make sure you discuss this with your realtor and they're only showing you ones that you, that you qualify for, okay? A condo is considered real property, so you own everything inside. If your furnace breaks, your AC unit breaks, anything, you're responsible for it. The HOA fee at a condo covers everything outside. So the roof, siding, the deck, the parking lot and sidewalks, uh, snow removal, um, lawn maintenance. Uh, if, if, there's, if there happens to be a playground or a pool, it covers that as well. When owning a condo, you can renovate uh, kitchens or bathrooms without any approval. With a co-op, you need that approval to do any sorts of upgrades since you don't fully own it. If you have any additional questions, please feel free to message me. Um, if you like this video, the content that I'm sharing, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm today's agent, changing the way real estate is done. Thank you.